Welcome back, I am Captain Xavier, and as my Sentinel was featured in this week's episode of Can It Take a K-26, I got a whole bunch of questions about it, uh, as well as advice. So I'm going to be taking some of that advice and answering some of those questions. I'm also going to be doing pretty much a, a mod guide on the Sentinel. Uh, most of the mods have already been done to this one, but I'm going to go over what I've done as well as uh, the advice I got, and uh, after a little bit of research, a couple of other things that I'm going to do to it. I'm also going to go over the various cosmetic modifications that I've made. They were kind of covered in uh, my uh, the episode of K26, but I'll go over them again real quick. Of course, I've given it my paint job, the black and orange, and left the gray because I like a little bit of additional color. Um, I've added a section of sling fire stock on the end to give it a full length stock because I did not like the short stock. I have also added a Busby Predator barrel. It's just slid on over the original barrel and then I added a bit of uh, PVC to act as kind of the cover for that. Could have been a little bit straighter, but um, I am overall pleased with the general look. It gives it the full-sized rifle look, which is really what I was going for. Uh, I really like how it turned out and I'm really pleased with the performance. So let's go ahead and get it opened up and look at the box. So for those of you opening a Sentinel for the first time, the end cap should just pop off. You also need to take off this uh, plastic cover here and this side plate as there are some hidden screws. You can just reach in with a screwdriver and pop off this upper plate. And then the same for this, you can just reach in and pop this plate off, and that'll let you get to the last two screws. All right. So, the mods that I have done so far, I have doubled up the cap spring, and I have put K26 in. Uh, what I'm going to be doing today is reinforcing a couple of parts on the inside so that they don't break on me. What I'm going to be doing for reinforcement is I'm going to be use, adding some epoxy putty to this section, which is the, uh, the part that the lever bolts into. Uh, I will also be adding probably a little bit of reinforcement to a couple of other spots as well. The other place that it was recommended that you reinforce was, in fact, the plunger head. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm also going to pad the plunger head. Which should actually alleviate another problem that I had, which was I had a little bit of uh, spring rattle because the spring that I put in was... Uh, K26 had to be shortened a little bit more. And uh, adding a... A little bit of padding onto the end of it will uh, alleviate that problem. So, okay. So to pad the plunger head, I have cut two discs of uh, probably quarter inch foam. One that will fit inside the, the head there, and then this one will go on the outside to actually provide padding. And they will simply get super glued in. And last but not least... I'll be putting a little bit of Teflon tape under the O-ring to make sure we have a good tight seal. And my thanks to my friend John for providing me this lovely tube of white lithium grease. I was informed that the spray stuff that I had was not good for O-rings. So, 
he gave me this stuff. Yep, I have opted to, in fact, leave the AR and the barrel as they are for now. With the K26, I'm just a little bit concerned that with Busby's, you know, plastic quality not being quite as good as Nerf's, I am worried that it will break, and I really don't want to break my nice modified Sentinel. So I am going to leave those in place. I'm sure I will lose a little bit of uh, power, but I am willing to lose a little bit of power and not break my blast. That's just how I nerf. One thing I would very much like to get, and I wouldn't be surprised if somebody out there has made one, uh, is a, a better mag release, because the whole push-button mag release, I'm not a huge fan of. I'd much rather have a lever one like Nerf has. And I don't think it would be that difficult. You would just have to put in a lever, uh, put in a, a bolt or something to make a, a post, and then just have a lever that would push that back. If any of you know if there's a kit out there or an Etsy or something that uh, has that, that would be lovely. If not, I will probably fabricate my own at some point. But there you have it. That's what I did as far as modifications to mine. K26, upgraded spring. Didn't brass or take out the AR because I would rather have slightly less power and a gun that doesn't break itself than a more powerful gun that's broken. So um, let's put it back together and do a couple of shots out of it. I'll, I'll get you guys the uh, FPS numbers because everybody wanted that. Can't really get you range because being springtime in Tacoma it's pouring rain outside but um, FPS I can at least get you. So I went to do the firing demonstration and uh, found the mag release to be so irritating that uh, I decided to just go ahead and build that fancier mag release that I was talking about right now. So I've used a little bit of uh, Plastic, I, I'm not actually sure what it is. It was in my bin of materials, and I made myself an extended mag release. I uh, drilled a hole through one of the little knobs and cut it off, and I put a bolt through that, and then the release just sits on that bolt, and it appears to work. We'll find out how well it works when I actually get it all back together, which is going to be right now. So, All right, well, the numbers are in, and it is hitting anywhere between 85 and 105, depending on the ammunition. Oddly enough, the ammunition that seems to be firing the best is the weird X-Shot ammo, which I find fascinating. Uh, it is entirely possible that I could get better consistency if I brass the barrels so that all the darts are getting roughly the same fit. Uh, and I may do that eventually. I'd like to keep the air restrictor in just for the longevity of the blaster, but... Um, it is possible to brass a barrel without removing the AR, and I may go ahead and do that. Uh, you know, only do a partial brass just so it gets a better seal. We'll see. But for now, I am very pleased with it. Definitely pleased with the extended mag release. Uh, turned out to be very, very simple, actually. Uh, single piece of plastic, uh, two holes drilled and a bolt going through, and a little bit of cutting of the shell, but... Um, other than that, very, very simple. There it is. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, suggestions, go ahead and leave them in the comments section below. And as always, thank you for watching.